Americans are struggling to find work. Today we got new data confirming it again. Jobless claims hit their highest level since August. Almost 900,000 people filing for the very first time. Millions of Americans have lost their jobs since the pandemic hit. The hardest of all, women. Women are falling out of the workplace at what an analysts are calling an alarming rate. Married women with children, they're hit the hardest. CNBC's Contessa Brewer now. Contessa, COVID pain unequally distributed. It's true, Shep. Coronavirus caused this recession that has hit women especially hard, and now it even carries its own name, she-session, leading some experts to suggest the pandemic has set the women's movement back decades. I was furloughed for about two months to begin with, and with that, I could kind of see it coming. Whether they're just starting their careers or well-established entrepreneurs, when the pandemic hit, our business went under. Women are bearing the brunt of the economic downturn. We had two brick and mortar retail shops and everything was moving, you know, fast speed. And I could not afford to take a minute to figure out how to continue to make that business work. Wait, Kirby's turn. Lakeisha Cole was juggling a job and three kids, one with special needs. Coronavirus definitely derailed her career plans. It's sort of the perfect storm that can set women back decades. Even before the pandemic, women shouldered more household chores and earned less than men. When schools shut down and daycares closed, many women felt they had no choice but returned to jobs as homemakers. In September, 216,000 men dropped out of the workforce. 865,000 women did, nearly four times more. And women of color have it worse, with higher unemployment rates than white women. Lakeisha isn't giving up, launching a PR firm despite the challenges. The stress of motherhood, the stress of being a working mom, the stress of growing a business, the stress of being a black woman in America, these are all the things that I've had to strap on my back. And there is a lot of juggling to get the job done here. And one more factor in why the struggle is so hard for women, they are overrepresented in industries that have just been decimated here. We're thinking hotels and spas and salons, clothing stores, Shep. It's just a real challenge. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.